free versus open source in terms of what those terms mean. Many people think that anything that is open source is also free. And some people think that anything that's free is also open source. There's definitely fewer people who under that don't understand that just because something's free doesn't mean that it's open source. There's lots of free software out there. Paint.net is a great free program that was an incubator for Microsoft. LiveWriter is a free program. AOL Instant Messenger is a free program that's ad-sponsored, but it's still free. None of those are open source. <clears throat> Zusa Linux from Novell is a open source commercial product. It's not free. And it's maintained, tested, and developed by Novell for the purpose of large enterprise deployments on the desktop. Now, this is not provided as open source so that you can make modifications and build your own version of Linux based on it. The open source is provided so that you can understand how the security works in the product, where it might be vulnerable, and make informed decisions about the product. It's also so that developers can look at the interfaces that the operating system provides, understand how the handling works, and say, oh, you know, if I do this, it will break, or this isn't fully documented but here's the source code I can look through and create a specification that I know will work. And that's why the product is open source, so that it's easier to develop for and easier to understand the vulnerabilities so that you know what you need to do in order to keep your network safe. Not, again, so that you can take the code and compile it and run your own version. This is a big confusion issue for people in the free open source movement, that they want everything that's open source to be free. It's not about sharing the knowledge, it's about not making money on the knowledge and the resources that you put into it. The big difference between Novell's distribution of Linux and most distributions of Linux is the amount of testing that goes into the product. They go through and they run mean time between failure numbers. They check for vulnerabilities. And they really make sure that the product is a finished, well-rounded product. And, you know, I hate to draw the parallel to Windows or Mac, because Linux people get very upset that Windows and Mac crash a lot. But there's a lot of testing that goes into making those products work, and that's where a large portion of the expense comes from. And lit uh, Linux that is untested is more likely to have issues than Linux that is tested. And so as an IT pro, you have to decide, do you want to run a distribution of Linux that hasn't been well tested, or do you want to run the one that comes with the testing and backing of a company that's been around for longer than I have at Novell? So that's the big difference between free and open source. Things can be both free and open source, or they can be free, or they can be open source.